In this video, we'll look at the oxidation numbers for sulfur. So when we talk about oxidation numbers, we're talking about a change in the oxidation state. Since we just have sulfur by itself here, there's no change. So a free element like sulfur, the oxidation number, that's going to be zero. So just for sulfur, if you just have S, oxidation number is zero. If you have something like octasulfur, S8, it's still zero because it's all the same element. So there's not going to be any change in oxidation state just sulfur, oxidation number is zero. But when sulfur bonds with other elements, then we do have a change in oxidation state. And sulfur can have a number of different oxidation states. For example, let's look at H2S. For H2S, hydrogen, that's going to have a plus one oxidation state. So we have two hydrogens, two times plus one, that's plus two. Here, the sulfur, its oxidation state is minus two. But what about something like SO2? Oxygen, that's almost always minus 2 is its oxidation state. 2 times minus 2, that's minus 4. So this has to be plus 4. So we have sulfur here with a minus 2. Here it has a plus 4. Let's look at one more, H2SO4. So for H2SO4, oxygen, we said that's minus 2, hydrogen plus 1. And we don't know what sulfur is. We could call it X. I've got 4 times minus 2, that's minus 8 plus 2 times plus 1, plus 2. That gives me a negative 6, minus 6. So the sulfur, that has to be positive 6. So to recap, sulfur just by itself, or octasulfur, that's going to have an oxidation number of 0. But when sulfur is bonded to other elements, it can take on different oxidation states, minus 2, plus 4, plus 6, and several other states. But by looking at what the sulfur atom is bonded to, we can figure out its oxidation number. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.